and welcome to awful PS1 games again. Wasn't sure when I'd get a chance to do this, but considering I have gone through all of my planned Sunday stream material, we can resume the awful collection. So let's take a look and see what I have. Now, chat, did I play Mary Kate and Ashley <laughs> Magical Mystery Mall last time? Okay. Did I play Miracle Space Race? Here, I'll just go to the video itself. Full sauce, awful PS1. So it looks like I didn't do this one. So did, uh, Animorphs, Chaos Break, I did Dragon Ball Z, Crow, Killing Zone. I didn't do the Killing Zone game. All right. I'll be with you in just a second. I have to just load up one more thing and then we can get started. Vinny, I fell asleep with your stream on a couple days ago, and now Crazy Hamburger is burned into my TV. Yeah, that's, uh, like I said, Crazy Hamburger has been retired. Hamburger. Only regular hamburger remains. Okay, almost ready. Firmware is missing. Oh, good. Okay. That's my favorite voice that I can do because it's, it's very, uh, it's low. There are times when I have other voices that amuse me, but that one will never cease. Okay, finally. Oh, I say it's a voice, it's just like throat destruction. So, alright, for real, here we go. Killing Zone is the first game that I can show you tonight in awful PS1 showcase. Let's go! Vinny, play Hannah Montana for the Wii, please. Is that a PS1 game? So here's uh, the famous PS1 loading. Distributed by Acclaim. Cool PNG. Cool lens flare. Everyone was using lens flare at the time, myself included. Anytime I used Photoshop, lens flare was added to every image. Wait, have I really not played this? Okay, so it's a fighting game. Gush, Cal, Batch, Sherry, Rem. From within your mind. Rem Lazar has become a mummy. Werner. Werner? And Drake. Ah, yes, Drakenstein's monster. Round one. Kite. Oh, that sucks. Well, I've played some really fucking bad fighting games on Sundays, so this doesn't come close to some of the other ones. Remember the one where the dudes had the shotgun, it was running too fast, and they were just screaming max volume? It's not as bad as that. Hell, it's not even as bad as Masters of Terrace Kasai, but it's... 
a little rough. Oh no. Vinny, did you know that Michael Jackson made the soundtrack for this? Is that real? Come on. I know he's done some... Oh, good. This is like a really... proto... shitty soul caliber. REACH AROUND! I bet this skeleton doesn't even have the courtesy to give someone a goddamn reach around. No, Michael Jackson did not do the soundtrack. He did the soundtrack for Sonic 3, which, yeah, it's a little bit more known. That was a good bone noise. Even if we're not getting, like, music at those moments, it's good bone noises. Um, it's just a pretty... Pretty basic fighter. It's not the worst I've played, but it's- it's kind of lame. Ill-responsive. The movement is stiff. It's as stiff as the bones in Cal's... Calcium-deprived system. I'm sure there's some kind of combos that have special moves associated with them, but I can't figure out how to do them. Watch, watch this. Again, if you look at it, it kind of seems like it could be a precursor to Soul Edge. But it, it just, um, unfortunately has none of the charm of said Soul Edge. And, and, uh, the plane of movement is only two directions, so it's not quite Soul Calibur. But hey, this skeleton has made an appearance last night and tonight. So that's cool. Maybe Bone Sauce is the next season. I don't know. Maybe Goblin Bones. I don't know, chat. Anything could happen. You know, skeletons are pretty legit. <laughs> Boner. Still have my money on Lego sauce. I'm trying not to indulge in the Lego hobby as much as I would like to. Because I- listen, chat. A. They, there is a Lego premium. B. I don't have room for my completed creations. And C, it's a rabbit hole that can get very addictive. But I will play the Lego Star Wars game next year. Just go for it, that NES is amazing. I know. God, I know. The NES is cool. Hey, take a look at this. So it doesn't even have their names. This is their, like, class. That's it? Just half the characters? All right. Not a particularly memorable game, though I- I'd give it credit for having, like, classic monsters. That's cool. I like monsters. Like the old universal monsters, plus, uh, skeleton, of course. Let's take a look at the next game I have here on the list, which is called- I forgot the name of that other one. Um, we did Mary-Kate and Ashley's, uh, magical mystery game. No, we didn't. We're gonna play Mary-Kate and Ashley Magical Mystery Tour. Magical- mi Magical Mystery... Mall. Just 
double check. Yeah, we didn't do this. We played Barbie last time, not this one. Dual Star Entertainment. Okay, this is a 2000 PlayStation game, so this could look decent if a little bit of effort was put into this. It's got five years of learning the architecture of the PS1 to make it look better than that game we just played. Same company, by the way. Acclaim really made some fucking garbage game, or at least published some really trash games. Okay, so there's like five intro screens. Six. Guess we'll watch this one. Fash. Mary Kate and Ashley's Endless Mall. I need to go to the mall. <laughs> Their faces are even more uncanny than usual. I don't know what looked worse, Mulder or Mary Kate and Ashley. The mall never ends. It just goes, it stretches on for eternity. Every store. Ah, nothing better than being at the mall on a rainy Saturday. There's nothing better than being at the mall on any day, Mary Kate. Good point. Hey, check out the new jewelry cart. Girl, you still got the eye. Let's go see what they have. Ashley, I've never seen <laughs> stuff like this. Look, look at this cool necklace. Wow, that is different. Is it magic? It is. Talking about different. Here comes the owner. Good day, girls. I see you found one of my most That's special banjo kazooie pieces. music. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm not paid enough to do, you know, this voice thing. Oh, great. It figures I pick out the most expensive necklace here. Hi, we were just admiring this really awesome necklace, but it's probably out of our price. This range. is a magical you necklace. You know, today I can make you a great deal on that. No, really, it's pretty old and missing a few of its gems. Really magical gems. So, what do you think about five bucks? Magical necklace gems? Five bucks? Yeah, that's a good deal. Whoa, what a deal! Do you have any pogs? I got the other half. Wait till our friend- Excuse me. For your information, you kind of have to be careful. Don't put those two pieces together since some of those gems are missing. I've heard strange things have happened. Do you understand? Huh? Skip! That cart, when Pokemon cards became big, Ashley, there was an entire cart in dedicated Kansas to Pokemon anymore. cards. No kidding. At my mall. I'm with you. So, I see we didn't listen, did we? We're majorly sorry. I skipped some really nice. vital story That's stuff, didn't I? Okay, what you have to do now is get the missing gem so then you can reverse the spell. Get it? Okay, so where can we find them? Well, okay, this is gonna seem weird, but each one of those open stores offers kind of a cool challenge. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. So yeah, I skip the cutscene thinking, well, this is fine. I've seen this. And then immediately, pillars of salt. People become statues. It's the animations. What's that, books? Boring! Watches. Still boring. Huh, I'd rather listen to books than read them. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Boring. 
barbecue? Boring. I was going to go to the music store, but Burgers, we'll... anyone? Burger sauce. What's the difference? It's, it's the same picture. This should be a piece of cake, Ashley. Yeah, a real blast. The food court is one of our favorite hangouts. We got this place wired. Yeah, it really looks like you two spend a lot of time serving pizzas and roller skates. Okay, look, you gotta get a gem, so listen up. Don't forget you have to end up with $100 in tips to get the gem. That's fine, I'll just figure it out. Okay, you only have to make 50 bucks. I mean, how easy is that? Who's talking? Oh, uh, the disembodied spirit of the gems. Pizza, please. Pizza, pizza, please. Thank you. Oh, it's a mini game collection. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't come across pizza. that thought in my mind. I, I thought maybe it would be like Mario 64 a little bit, where you go to a different area, like, you know, like yeah. Croc or something. But hey, no, this is pretty bad. Give me a slice of pizza. The pizza must be really good here, chat. I'll have pizza. Thank you. Oh, God, mall pizza. Just the very thought sends shivers down yeah. my spine. I'll have a pizza. Pizza time. I'll have pizza. Thank you. Sabaros. There's this pizza place in the Woodbridge Mall yeah, called, like, New pizza. Roman Pizza or something. And I hate, I hate it. Or, I like, Roman pizza. pizza. I don't know what it tastes like. Yeah. I just hate walking pizza. by it. I hate the name of it, and I hate looking Thank at you. it, and I hate what it represents. I'll have pizza. I don't hate a lot of things I'll in this world, pizza. but I truly hate that Roman pizza Here place. See ya. Good job. Too bad you're not done yet. Bring on more customers. That was a cinch. You only need $75 this time. Okay. I guess we'll check out one more level. Isn't this, there a Sabaro in the Woodbridge Mall? I don't know. Could be. Vinny, you came back from vacation for this. I'm so sorry. Maybe Vacation 3 is in order. <laughs> You've heard of Vacation 2, but well, now, here's Vacation 3. Airport. <laughs> oh yes, the airport fashion show. Okay, girls, listen up. The top fashion magazines are looking for pictures for their next issues. You've got to pick out the outfits, put together a fashion show, and get a the bunch of pictures. The pixelation of their face and if they like reminds them, me of the Final Fantasy VIII, you're the what best you looking guy here moment. We love where Squall is just a, a mashed, show? like, we fucking so humperdink. Nah, look, it's easy. Babblecock. Really. I guess trying on the latest cool fashions and modeling them and then taking some really awesome pictures should be fun. We're, We're totally, totally ready. ready. Let's, Let's get busy. busy. That's the spirit. Good luck with your fashion show. I was thinking of, uh, who was... Chat, what was I thinking of when I said Humperdinck Babblecock? Who's the, um, the historical figure? It was in a cartoon. Who, who is that? No, not Benedict Cumberbatch. Well, that's not, actually, that's not too far off. Oh, Quasimodo, I was thinking. Rocks. 
Feel this material. This rocks. Awesome pattern. Fashion. Fashion. Turn to the left. Fashion. We are the goon squad and we're rocks. coming for you. Beep, beep. This outfit is happening. This is Chat, so what am cool. I doing with my fucking awesome life? Awesome color. Awesome color. I like it. This outfit is happening. Feel this material. This color rules. Awesome pattern. Help. My fave color. Help. Why am I playing this? Help. Shoes, my fave. Feel this material. Help. Just start the start the goddamn thing. Just, just start the fucking show. Please. I don't know how to do this. Wait a Wait a little. Wait a Wait a What do you think? Wait a little. Ah, da 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 Vinny, so where's the aliens? Um, oh, you... Uh, the, the, here. Here's Mary Kate, minding her latest fashion. Oh, that's a cool plane. Take some pictures of that. These pictures are gonna rule. They cool wings. Look We're at the sure wings on... Look at the engines. We're this sure is supposed to, get a to be really easy. Maybe we should try a different camera. Sure. Or maybe you should just try again. That's a nice plane. I got my pictures. I'm happy. Wait up. I can't. Yeah, I can't stomach this game anymore, chat. Even. Even as a joke. Yeah, I'm good. Wait and I do Pop, pop. Wait up. Miracle Space Race. Vinny, why did you think Quasimodo was a historical figure named Babelcock? Quasimodo isn't real? So this game is from 2003? <laughs> Holy shit, it got real close to that. It, like, the start of it was, I think it's in the right key, it kind of just got close enough. That's oh, a cart racer. With a bunch of hack nobodies. <laughs> not a single plumber or hedgehog in sight. These characters were not grandfathered into video game history, and thus, as such, should be ignored. I mean, who the fuck is tipped up anyway? No, I like Diddy Kong Racing's characters. I 
don't think this game has drifting. Um... It's, it's not, it's not fun. It's no Crash Team Racing. I mean, one of the things that keeps kart racers interesting... Yeah, obviously drifting helps, like, some of the hidden game mechanics that you learn about as you go. Uh, but also, like, levels that have interesting little things to enjoy and look at. Memorable set pieces. Tunnel is cool, though, I guess. Five laps of tunnel. I thought those arrows might be like speed up, speed up, but not quite. I have to at least see one more level after this. Hey. hey, maybe the next level has some more interesting stuff in it. This oblong disc. Wait, what? Do I have to complete the space level to- Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, oh no. Boring space levels. Miracle space race. It's a miracle I didn't fall asleep playing it. Ass! This game is called, um, Mortal... What is this series? I've never heard of this series. Mortal Kombat? Wombat. W I, w Mortal... Wart... Wartortle. No, Mortal Kombat Special Forces. What? I don't think I've ever heard of this one. I remember Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Like, they tried expanding Mortal Kombat into, like, an action series at one point. What the fuck is going on with this presentation? This is like Ocean's Eleven. This, is, this isn't Mortal Kombat. More of, like, yeah, Cowboy Bebop or Venture Brothers or... I know what well, Boy Bebop is, at least. I know, like, what kind of visual, like, presentation it has. Even if I've never seen it. Alright, whatever. Let's just play the game and get it over with. <laughs> Wait a minute. That sound effect is in Perfect Dark. I know, because I just streamed Perfect Dark, like, two weeks ago.
Chad, I have a secret bias against Cowboy Bebop, and I'll tell you why. Because when I was a kid, there was a family friend who was named Bebop, who people got a tremendous kick out of, but I thought he was a nasty, mean person, and scary. And therefore, the name Bebop, I do not like. I had to call him Uncle Bebop at one point, and I resented that. Jax, we have an urgent situation that demands your attention. What's the problem, Gemini? We have a breakout at the Special Forces Maximum Security Facility. A group Was of he a clown? I don't know, I only met him like three times. <laughs> I'm exaggerating for effect. The list of escape prisoners is as follows. Vinny, Memphis, that's a lie? Tazia, nope. Jarek, and Trimmer. They apparently are hiding out in an abandoned warehouse on the south side of town. There's something else you should know. The prisoners received help from an outside source. It has to be Kano. You guessed it. <laughs> Gemini, tell Uncle Funzalo was real. To the Uncle Bebop Inform was not real. Not Bebop was real. My arrival. Okay, we can we can just play the game. I didn't actually have to call him Uncle Bebop, but at one point there was there was like um some weird intertwined family drama with Bebop. And I don't even fully remember or know or care to ask exactly who this man was. But it is a name I had heard from when I was a child. You can take that for what it's worth. I gain nothing. I gain nothing from lying about Bebop. Even if there was entertainment value in it, it's not that entertaining. I could just show you more YouTube poop. So, Mortal Kombat, huh? Vinny, it's another excuse to not watch Cowboy Bebop. Oh, the bias thing was a joke. There's- uh, that's a complete joke. I just wanted to tell the story of Bebop. I was too young to really know. Like, I uh, trust me when I say I don't watch Cowboy Bebop not because there is a man named Bebop. But because I think anime is filthy. <laughs> and that's why the whole time I was watching Akira, I had the, uh, the crucifix. With Jesus. And I was drinking holy water. Little did I know I wouldn't be prepared for the, uh... for the meat. That's sacrilege? What, drinking holy water is bad? But then why do we drink Jesus' blood? So confused. So, can we talk about this game? I don't really want to, but we have to because it's part of the segment where I talk about the game that I play. It's an initial impression, because it's real early, and I haven't played more than, uh, th three minutes of it, but it's just doesn't... it doesn't exude Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat can be a couple different things, I'm aware of that, but this is... this is a fucking generic beat-em-up. A chat member said, I beat it, it's bad. Well, it... it's kind of boring. I don't know, I mean, you unlock more combos, which is fine, but... Control-wise, it's- it's very... generic, and not... particularly amazing. You just punch, punch, kick. 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 Buddy, you're a poor boy, young boy, making up the boys. Everybody got a word on the street. Blood on your face. Big disgrace. 
Sorry, there's a lot of Freddie Mercury on tonight's stream between speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, and that. The chat member who beat this game just said, Vinny, this is the best this game will get. Oh. Vinny, uh, did you watch The Boys Season 2, speaking of boys? Uh, I've seen two episodes of it, and... While I know that the show now pisses people off because of Amazon's aggressive advertising campaign, it is a good show, and I'm enjoying it, and, uh, I think Carl Urban is fantastic, and the dude that plays Homelander is also just incredible, and I'm- I'm enjoying it. I like all the Billy Joel references, but I'm conflicted because Mark Lanigan had some very scathing words about how much he hates Billy Joel. And I can see his point, but the show kind of glorifies Billy Joel. <laughs> and I like Billy Joel. So now I just have these conflicting thoughts in my head because of that dude's book. But regardless, uh, man, that song Pressure is such a fucking good song. I finally got ammo. I, well, I can do one thing. I will shoot. I will shoot, chat. Someone said, how can anyone hate Billy Joel? Everyone hates everything is the answer to that question, but I think if you go a little bit further, Billy Joel was just the definition of, like, radio rock, just sappy, very, um, by-the-numbers pop songs. I still think he was really good at it, and I loved his, uh, I loved his music, but, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in his discography that's just, like, pure... It's drivel. But, then you have an album like The Stranger, and it's- it's amazing. But you have a guy like Mark Lanigan who's from that scene who listened to punk rock. If you're into the fucking punk rock ethos, Billy Joel's probably not your guy. You know what? This game is not my guy. This game is unfortunate. Jax deserved better than this. What a bland fucking attempt at creating more Mortal Kombat. Like, in expanding the franchise. Same for, like, Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Just a really, um... Just like a half-cocked, half-baked idea. Vinny, how could you hate Uptown Girl? Oh, they didn't say Vinny. Just in general, how could you hate Uptown Girl? Uh, the same people, people... Ugh, the same reason people don't like R.E.M.'s shiny, happy people. 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 I guess some some songs are just so catchy and bright and you know cheery sounding and ca and uh, and poppy that it's probably very easy for some people to hate that shit. Truthfully, I don't like Uptown Girl. I think it's one of my least favorite Billy Joel songs. Though I I think uh, what song? One of my favorite songs of his is extremely catchy, extremely poppy. It's um. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. So the Rugrats games have not been good. Thank God Mark Mothersbaugh is still with us. Uh, but yeah, totally Angelica Rugrats. It's really bad because now every time now I play I dream or think about Rugrats, I think about Stu and Dee Dee's encounter in the hallway. Open. 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 Open.
I'm so sick of your shit, Angelica. Be more careful. Now, how am I gonna play more fashion show queen? I know. I'll be the star. Play the Mary Kate and Ashley game, Angelica. That's what I thought. Now, I just need some extras to run the mall and be my boring public. How do you think Angelica grew up, like, now that she's an adult? Because she's now like 37 years old, right? What's, why is all of the chat... Wait, wait, why is chat saying the word Karen? What is, what is that? Welcome to Make Believe Mall, the only small run by babies. Today, we are proud to present the Mall Fashion Show. And remember, customers who aren't potty trained always shop for free. I'm gonna get lots of outfits, so I'll be sure to win that fashion show and be queen. It's like Mommy always says, dress for excess. It's, oh, okay, it's a side scroller. So, hey, well, not really. It's not quite a side scroller, but uh, it's another mall game. And it's another fashion show. So much stuff to win. So it's another That's mall like mini game collection. Finny, what are you doing at three in the morning? Making a playing uh, Angelica game. Why? Why are you doing that? Because I forgot the quote. I mean, because I've lost control of my life. I call being on a roll. Have you ever wanted to fight a video game? The game crap. Wait, what's going on? I wanted to fight it, and now it's broken. Because I, I was typing something. If I press F, it works, but... Wait, how do I do this? Oh. This is what I wanted to play while while playing this. Here we go. But what the fuck Too did bad I, I don't have a bulldozer. This game would be over real quick. Life. Maybe he'd been a bedwetter, shit his pants at school, had been cut from football squad as a youngster and never gotten over it. I couldn't believe someone hadn't beaten, knifed, or shot him to death by now. Such was the reckless, witless, and despotic nature of his insufferable facade. Where I was from, a person wouldn't last a week behaving as he did. Boy, One day he'd simply disappear. Their man and body it. discovered years later, haphazardly tossed into a shallow grave somewhere deep in the woods. But what the fuck did I know? He had probably been a low-life cocksucker his entire life. I just, I like the contrast. Am I going in circles? Am I like a Stoy Lupin? No, I'm not a story looping. Chat, would you would you be terribly upset if I just skipped the rest of this game? You know what? Instead of completing this activity, let's check out a different activity. 
and then I can quit playing that activity and then move on to another game. Just so we get a, a flavor. There's so many Rugrats games that are just giant minigame collections. I don't know if there's ever been a good Rugrats game. Maybe chat can tell me. I don't have the answer to that. Cynthia, S you you think like Angelica's parents could buy another Cynthia? That probably was a plot. He changes clothes faster than babies change diapers. What am I doing with my life? Everybody's a cricket. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I was even close. They did, but she doesn't like it. She- oh, she liked her Cynthia. Okay. Be sure to play again! Our imaginary mode never closes! So it looks like you get a couple mini-games. And then you do the fashion show, and then you can go into the elevator and get more loathsome mini-games, and then repeat the process all over again. But what the fuck do I know? There's no such thing as too many cookies! Good thing it doesn't touch milk! That would be really hard! New tossing your cookies could be so much fun. Now I'm the cookie queen. <laughs> Perfect weapon. Vinny, what's the age difference between Tommy and Dill? Three months. Dee Dee gets pregnant and, and, uh... It's like a miracle pregnancy. That was the plot... ...of one of the episodes. Like, Tommy... ...is three months old... ...and then Dee Dee's like, wow! Another kid so soon? And Stu's like... Aren't those things like, uh... ...like animals? They're like, they swim? Like animals? So this is perfect weapon. Vinny, it was a movie? I don't know. What is this man kicking? It looks like an emaciated ninja turtle slash toothbrush. This game is terrible to control. Oh, oh, this is a famous bad game. All right. <laughs> when does the loading bar finish? Oh. 10% through red. Got it. Makes me appreciate the X Files game from earlier so much more. Captain Blue. 
Blake Hunter, recording. Current date, unknown. Current location, unknown. I'm utterly lost, utterly alone. Time and place mean nothing to me in this alien land. <sighs> As for my abductors, they are nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. And so my only enemy at the moment is this brutal cold of this godforsaken land. I now venture out in search of shelter and answers. But what the fuck do I know? What the fuck did I know? He had probably been a low-life cocksucker his entire life. <laughs> Maybe he'd been a bedwetter, shit his pants at school. <laughs> Tank controls. No way. No way. Colonel, with the Fox Archipelago. No way. No way. No way, what? What do you mean, no one? No way. Just walk! It's, you can walk! Can you not walk? No way. No way. Oh, okay. Yeah, this has got some pretty fucking horrific, horrific controls. No way. What do you mean, no way? That's a walkway, is it not? Mr. Walkway, walk up me. Fuck you. No Lead way. me to the building. No way. No way. No way. The perfect weapon has no acrobatic skills, cannot walk on a bridge. I found the jump button. I think. This is so fucking lame. It's- it's really fucking disgustingly bad. I- I don't understand how this could have left the- the, the development studio. Holy shit. Quark! The fucking scream noise. Ah, uh, real monsters. I like that the music restarts every time I press start. Great. I, I believe Captain Kirk fought one of these things. This actually may be the worst game on the PS1. No way. No way. No way. I don't say that lightly.
This is the worst controlling game I've ever played, perhaps. Of this nature, of, of this kind. Just awful tank controls, uh, very difficult to navigate. The fighting is, is horrendous. And they throw wolves at you when your best move is a kick. Perfect weapon. No way. No way. No way. Yeah, chat. I don't know. This dude does not want to walk. No way. No just, way. Just walk, dude. Just fucking no walk way. on the spot where you can walk. Will the play th will a playthrough of this game be a charity incentive? All right, listen to my character, and he'll give you the answer. No way. And, and again, like a, a chat member just said, I always go to this, but I have to bring it up because it really is an astounding thought that some poor kid got this for Christmas. This probably was, you know, maybe maybe a family didn't have a ton of money and this was like on sale or it was in the trash. And this is all the kid could get. Though it gives me comfort to think that maybe someone got this game for Christmas but only had a Sega Saturn and couldn't play it. No way. No way. No way. No way. A rocket ship? It's a fucking lunar module? Wow, my thumb actually hurts from playing this game. Just from using the D-pad. Well, why don't you like it? You know, all games are video games. It's just a game. No way. You can't enjoy the game because it's all, all games are games. No way. No way. No way. When the game no way. was the game. Oh no, I'm back at the start. I'm, you know, really trying here too, chat. I, like, I tried my no best way. to navigate no this hellscape of ice and, you know, wolves. I, uh, I, I really don't want to play this anymore. I don't want to look at it. And therefore, I'm going to say that this is one of the worst games I've played. Not because it looks terrible. It doesn't even sound terrible, necessarily. But it's the most frustrating game to navigate, to play. I, I, I actually, like, there's... I'm not exaggerating. I know I've done a lot of Sunday streams. And I've played a lot of bad games. This game actually makes me angry. Like, sure, I was joking about the Angelica game earlier, but this game, it, it it activates a part of my brain that maybe at times was activated from, like, failing a test or, like, missing a bus just before, like, you, you would be late for work. Um, getting caught in traffic, missing an exit on the turnpike, and then realizing that you just added 20 minutes to your drive. Uh, getting dinged by a, a fucking speeding camera. <sighs> A 
I'm good. Really difficult game to play, look at, and to to uh, to acknowledge the existence of. Football squad as a youngster and never gotten over it. Or that too. All right, uh, I'm I'm good. I'm done. So, of all the games I've played on PS1 so far, that the perfect weapon game is probably the worst. Excuse me, there's definitely enough for one more segment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on. I sat up and all the compressed air just, like, painfully expelled itself. But, um, yeah, not a brap, not that way, the, the, the front way. It was like, uh, I had, it was belch, but it was a, a silent belch. I had to mute myself because I was worried. Not that anyone needed to know this, but that game actually fucking gave me a painful burp. I'm just gonna blame, I'm just gonna blame the game for that, chat. I really think that that's acceptable. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's seven more games in this pack, and I could probably add a couple more to it if I needed to, but uh, this was a, a bad series of games, and there are more to come. Thank you for watching awful PlayStation games. Thank you for watching Sunday stream. Tonight was extra trashy. And uh, we will resume Sunday stream next Tuesday. During the week, no, during the week, there will be lots of uh, different types of games. And I'm going to do some variety shit again, and then I'm going to start something in a couple days. I'll start a new game. And more Tony Hawk, too. So, here we go. Here's the, here's the art. 